Hey guys, it's Alpia Shazzy Pete here with my hand doing all the actions, whatever. And today I wanted to craft something. And since I promised you guys in my first video that I would be doing crafts, so, so I bought these from England because I went to England recently. Hoof brush cover from Tiger. And the reason why I bought it is because they're really good for crafting and stuff. So, this craft is about how to make bags, I guess you could say. So, yeah, let's get on to it. Hey guys, welcome to Hi Me. Basically, you can see there that um, there's a photo frame, like, change. That's because, like, you can see my face and I was, like, little. And I don't want you guys to see me because, like, I don't want to do a face reveal right now. So, yeah. Okay, so first of all, well, I'm going to tell you what you need. So, you're going to need scissors. These are pretty rubbish scissors. I, I don't know why I still have them, but I just lost my crafting scissors. So, yeah. The toothbrush cover fabric so this whole box here is full of fabric and glue this could be hot glue or pva glue any glue and also a paintbrush if it's in the top okay so let's start by opening this up so we have four of these toothbrush covers so um i'm just gonna start with this white one as it's easiest so basically these can just open and close there we go pretty simple and oh, i'm gonna go in my box of craft stuff i have a lot of stuff as you can see like and i'm gonna choose just a random fabric hmm. um okay so i'm gonna use this one meaning that i'm gonna change this so this paint suits it more basically you put it here right i don't this is not scripted guys i'm so sorry um basically you see around it hmm so if where you think is enough space for it you basically cut so um basically my thing's right there and you need a bit more space so i'm putting it here and going all the way down to that purple square so now that you've got your fabric you're going to open the um the toothbrush cover, the good fabric facing at the outside and put it here. So it's like that. And then you're just gonna see. Is that enough or not? If it's not enough then cut more. But I think mine's enough. So you're gonna put it near the center. And then I'm just gonna apply glue to this and then I'll show you basically. Just apply it here. Nope. Basically, you're just going to put it on like this, like what I'm doing right now. Basically, my um, sheet is right down here, and you're just going to put this down like this. So it looks like this on top, in the middle. So right now, it looks like that. You're going to glue these sides onto it, the plastic, and then you're going to fold it as well. Oh my gosh, what on earth is that? Let's put it here, so it's like that. I'm going to do the other side now. I just glued the other side down and now you're gonna glue this side inside the thing so um just put more glue basically if you have a little glue only left then you can't do this craft you need more like go buy more but you want to do this to for both sides you could like glue it onto like the toothbrush holder don't worry this is clean guys like choose a clean one or else it's like mm. And then, um, just screw it down. You can't see this at all. Oh my gosh. This is so hard. Okay. Mm. So it looks like that. And then now you just want to fold these excess where my thumbs are and put them inside. So I'll show you what it looks like when I put the glue in right now. So, so basically it looks like that. It's like folded over. Now I'm just going to do the other side. Oh yeah, if you enjoy more this and like want more crafts, please subscribe, like, and comment down below. Do you like this new like setup? Do you want more of this? If Copa is still like okay with it, obviously, but yeah. So now my hands are a bit gooey, but who cares? That's what you have to do when you get crafting. So I'm gonna put more glue here to put on the excess stuff. It should look something like this. And real. I'm just gonna wash my hands first because they're really sticky. However, if you're using hot glue, then you can just jump right past this. Also, guys, I forgot to mention you need tape. Okay, so it's not dried yet, but to help it dry and like just stick there, I'm gonna use some tape. So you're just gonna get a good dollop. I don't know what you call it. You say it's like how much tape you want. 
basically you take take how much tape you want okay so I'm gonna tape it over from the side here using that tape go all the way down to the other side okay so let me just do that for this side now so I'll show you again if you really want me to if you don't want to then just skip like I don't know like five ten minutes five ten seconds I mean it's not gonna be that long I don't think okay so it it should look something like this once you tape it down to help it support okay I'm also gonna do it on these sides here because I'm scared they're gonna like fall apart like, I don't know why but I'm really scared because this fabric isn't very good for glue but you want your bags to be designer looking and stuff so Basically, tape wherever you think that the glue might not settle in, and basically, yeah. It should be able to fold still, like, if you don't apply too much, but, like, you, it should be able to fold still. So, I'm just gonna leave it in this, like, foldish looking position, so, like, this. Leave it here. And I'll see you when all of it is dry. And it, it's probably gonna be night when it's dry, so, I'll see you then. So, guys, as you can see, it's... It's night time now, and I checked up on this thing, and it's, um, it's not dry, so, um, we're going to leave that aside and leave it to dry for, 20, like, when I'm asleep and stuff, so we're gonna start on the handle. You're gonna cut out how much you want, I'm gonna say around that, so now you're gonna fold it, so, you're gonna fold it once, gonna fold it twice, basically this is just to make it thick. Hmm. So I'm going to cut off some tape and basically tape it so it clo it's like doesn't unravel again. Okay, and then since the I have some like unraveled like paper here, there you see, yeah, there, you're just going to cut that off. I need to tape that other side as well, right here, so I'm going to do that as well. This is, oh my gosh, this is off camera so much, I'm so sorry you guys, like you can't even see anything. Okay, after this, we're done with the tape for now, so don't put your tape away now. Okay, so you fold it in half, basically. Try to, it's really hard. And then you just cut a, like, um, something, like, like a line or something like this near the set, like, the top half. Open it. And it should, like, have a hole, like, that has a hole, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, dig more into it <laughs> yeah basically i'm just trying to make it more big bigger so hey guys so it is daytime now and it is dry so we can start on the sticker on the handles but as you can see the weather is not good today uh it's raining i think i'm not really sure i don't think you can tell so now um let's just get on to stick on the handles and after this this will be actually the last step so I'm not really sure, but um, I told you that I made these um, holes but, um, bigger by sticking like a LPS's tail, just like stuff it in. Let me just get one for a second, hold on. Not those ones over there because those are my customs and I don't want them to get ruined. I know what you're thinking, what? This is also a custom, but like, she's already in bad condition as you can see, so it's fine. You just stuff it like this, like that's what I did, and basically just create a hole. So you can actually like use it better. Um, I'm gonna use some tape as much as you want, really, just to make it more secure. And then you want to get one side, and you just put your tape and. So basically, when you stick it, you just stick it on the bottom half and leave some flapping over. And that flapping over part goes on here, so it should look something like this. I'm gonna cut this bit off because it's really annoying and like you don't want too much tape on your bag I, by just cutting here and then you cut here okay so now we've done that I'm just gonna use that much and I'm just you lay this flat first then put it over so one half of the tape is on the 
handle and one half of it is on the other thing so it's basically connected and then you just fold it forward so it's like that and then it's well stuck down so let's repeat that okay we're done actually so this is how you make a bag and just fold it up when you're done i know it doesn't close i thought it would because this is actually my first time i've made like bags in the past so you can just use blue tack or um i don't know what you call it in the states i forgot what you call it sticky tack something like that i don't know so you want to get your blue tack maybe about that much and basically you get your bag and just place it here oops i put it in the bag so place it on the edge here and then you just close but the good thing about these bags are that you can store stuff in it so um let me just get this um random like bead here and just chuck it in and ooh, you can hold it look at that go well, there and there we go there we go you see it actually works and when you're done making it make more <clears throat> so i'm gonna make it another one and I'm going to use this Chanel ribbon that my mom doesn't want anymore. So I just want the Chanel sign. So I'm just going to cut the Chanel sign off. Spread here. Just place the Chanel sign on top. I want it to still open. So I'm going to open it. And then I'm going to glue the rest in the inside. So just get my glue basically. And I'm going to stick down the side. Here you can see that this corner is a bit like tipped off. So you just want to pinch it and then you want to cut carefully and let's let that to dry so it is night time again and it is dry so let's continue honestly we just have to make the handles i'm gonna like, stop here because this video is too long so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe like and comment down below hopefully if the comment section is open just putting away my stuff while i'm talking to you i'll see you next time with another video bye